Hello! Today we are making a review of lead free soldering iron century tool SJ95112. The main features of the soldering iron are the increased power 70 w and the temperature adjustment between 200 and 450 degrees Celsius. Soldering iron has a traditional design. The housing is made of transparent plastic. Apart from its stylish look, in case of some failure, you may see the damaged component. For example, a burnt resistor, without disassembling the tool. You may also see temperature controller here. Unlike good PX-201, you don't need a special screwdriver to make adjustments. You may do it manually. The power cable is rather interesting. We've got a traditional two-pin plug, as well as an alligator clip for ground connection. This soldering iron is anti-static, so this contact is connected with the soldering tip and this metal part. This type of soldering tips is used in the iron. Tip diameter is 4.6 mm, length 67 mm. The soldering iron is delivered without a stand, so you have to buy it separately. We are going to use such a stand from Pro's kit. It fits our soldering iron perfectly. Now we prepare the iron for operation. Let's thin the soldering tip. We need some soldering flux and solder alloy. We power on the soldering iron, connecting the ground first and then connecting the power plug. Now we set the temperature to 350 degrees. The LED light turns on. Then the iron reaches the set temperature, it turns off. While the iron is heating, we prepare the flux. After the LED light goes off and the soldering iron has reached the required temperature, we may start operation. We dip the iron into the flux and then template it. After templating, we may start operation. Before we start, it is very interesting to find out how accurately this soldering iron supports the temperature. Let's measure it using the temperature probe. So, the temperature is set to 350 degrees. We will measure it. Thermocouple has a certain response rate and taking into account that there is no accurate indication screen, the temperature set to 350 degrees will be indicated as about 330 degrees. Excellent result! Now we are going to try the iron in operation. Here we have a PC board with lead-free solder alloy with rather large outputs and we will try to melt them. As the soldering tip is very thin, the end of the tip is not good enough in melting this contact. But if we use the thicker part, there is no problem with that. Same thing here and here. What concerns the price slash quality ratio, this soldering iron has no competitors. See for yourself. Temperature adjustment from 200 to 450 degrees, power 70 watt, as well as good maintenance of the set temperature. I highly recommend buying it.